Can you make a tutorial on VHS tape effects? Sure. You can literally make this effect in one click in Resolve. In Resolve Studio though. Just look for the analog damage in the effects library. I would recommend to add it on an adjustment clip. Go in the inspector, pick a preset and adjust the settings. Usually I decrease the detail loss. The video home system look is basically your footage but low quality with a little chromatic aberration. Which are those reddish, greenish, bluish lines that you see in your footage. We achieve this by oversetting the individual channels of the clip. Okay, so first we're gonna go to timeline and scroll all the way down to output blanking and choose 1.33. This will make our footage boxed shaped like it was in the 90s. Then we're gonna go to the color tab. This is where we're gonna do most of our heavy lifting. We're gonna create a new serial node by pressing option S and in this node First, we're gonna play around with the contrast in the primary wheels. I will decrease it just a tiny bit. This is okay. Then we're gonna play around with the pivot. pivot. We're gonna pull it up to around this point. The pivot, pivot controls the offset between the darkest and the brightest parts of the clip. When we raise the value, we reveal more details in the midtones. Then we're gonna do the scary chromatic aberrations. You can do it two ways. You can either press option Y or you can go to color, notes, add a splitter combiner node. After the splitter combiner node, hit option K to append a new node at the very end. And I'll show you later why we need this. So then we're gonna go into each and label them. The first one stands for our reds. Second one is for our greens. Third one is for our blues. And we're gonna go up in the red, go into the sizing tool. Here, make sure that you're under node sizing and we'll set the pen to three. I like to use three, but you can use four or five depending on your footage. Then let's go to green and here we're gonna set the tilt to minus three. Add the blues, we're gonna set the tilt to minus three and the pan to minus three as well. This gives us these lines. Now let's go back into this final node that we added. Here go to the primary wheels again and let's set the temperature to minus 500 to 600 just to make our footage more bluish. This is the base of our look. We're gonna go to the effects and add some film grain. No film grain? With the film grain. To sell the effect, I would recommend some overlays that you can get from websites like Motion Array or Artlist. And finally, I can say that you can get two months for free when you use my links down in the description. But that was the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. Write a comment what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you next time.